been a long time staple on the Chicago uh, folk scene and uh, a great voice, dry wit, and a pretty good guitar player. And uh, to give a warm welcome to Jim Craig. All right. I'm going to have to try and keep all of this straight. This is dry guitar playing and uh, half wit. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> can stand ever since ragtime struck the land I never saw the like in all of my days everybody's got that ragtime craze I held out as long as I could and then it got me and it got me good at first I didn't want ragged time but now I'm right in line I got a ragtime dog and a ragtime cat Ragtime piano in my ragtime flat. I got ragtime clothes, hat to shoes. I read a paper called the Ragtime News. I got ragtime habits and I talk that way. Dreaming ragtime and a rag all day. Got ragtime troubles with my ragtime wife. I'm certainly living a ragtime life. as long as I could and then it got me and it got me good at first I didn't want ragged time but now I'm right in line I've got a ragtime dog and a ragtime cat I read my ragtime news in my ragtime flat I got ragtime habits and to talk that way I dream in ragtime and a rag all day. I got ragtime troubles with my ragtime wife. I'm certainly living a ragtime life. Said I'm certainly living a ragtime life. I like to start out with a little bit of autobiography. Actually, I have two dogs. I live down the street, right down Milwaukee Avenue, not too far, in uh, Chicago. <laughs> and I've been living there for about 20 years uh, in my ragtime flat. Actually, I've been living in the same place now for almost 12 years, and I find that that's an unusual statistic in the big city for someone who hasn't bought the building. In fact, I'm still renting from the same guy that I started out with. Well, before I moved to Chicago, I lived in Texas for a long time. I lived in Texas for about 12 or 13 years. I started playing the guitar and singing songs in Texas. And one of the first places I went to was a little roadhouse outside of Kerrville. My brother used to sneak me in there. My brother's a little older than I am, and he used to Take me along. Actually, the place was a kind of a family place. It wasn't just for, for uh, grown-ups. On Sunday afternoon, this old uh, concrete block building would uh, be alive with the sounds of all kinds of people from the vicinity who'd come and sing songs and tell stories and what have you. And one, of the, one of the people there was a fellow by the name of Jack Pine Slim, who did a lot of talking blues. I'm going to do one of those for you right now. Jack Pine did a lot of talking blues because he had a <coughs> horrible singing voice. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not telling stories out of school. I'll tell you, that's how he got his name. He used to say it himself. He couldn't stay on pitch if he was climbing a pine tree. <laughs> let me hear it now. Come on, let me hear it. <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, I sat down by the fishing hole with my old cane the fishing pole, and something grabbed my hook and took my bait and drug me clear out to the middle of the lake. Woohoo! That was some kind of jump. Kind of got baptized on account. I'm standing down on a sandy bank. I felt a jerk, so I give a yank. I pulled up some old steering wheel, a Dodge radiator, an Oldsmobile. Let me tell you, friends, these little fishies are driving in style. I'm sitting in the boat with a bucket of beer. I ain't caught nothing, but I didn't much care. I guess I was pretty well satisfied with my little lady right by my side. We're waiting. No, oh, but not hesitating. Worm been gone off that hook about an hour now. We've been busy. Well, I'm standing out on a sandy bar and I wrestled me an alligator gar. I drug him home across my back. His old tail was a flapping for a mile and a half. Sold him to a tourist. He hurried off to get his picture took. Well, I dove down in the river deep and there was a 200 pound catfish lying there asleep. I got on his back and I rode him around. Hell, I settled him up and rode him into town. Kids come a running and a squealing, dogs are barking. Last night I had a dream. Dreamed I was fishing in a whiskey stream. <laughs> well, I baited my hook with Applejack, tossed in a shot, and drug a gallon back. Ooh. I was doing mighty fine till that old crick run dry. <laughs> Thank you, Jack. Bye. I spent the first six or seven years of my life living up about 40 miles, right straight south of Minneapolis in a little town, Minnesota. And uh, got a tremendous feeling for these, these Midwest winters. And so did Charlie. Here's one of, actually this is two of his songs, sort of humped together. This morning it was 40 below. Snow piled up past my door. Well, that's all right, but I live on the second floor. <laughs> I like it here. I got four pairs of long johns under two pair of pants, three ski sweaters and a raccoon hat, two pairs of gloves and a fur-lined vest. Then I get out of bed and start to get dressed. <laughs> I say, I like it here. Now the snow's piled so high when I went downtown. Could have shoveled that stuff upside down. They say it'll be like this until winter comes around. And I like it here. It was early morn, like so many before. Oh, cold and misery. I put on my coat. And I walked out the door, standing alone on the frozen ground. I went to the place where my beast lay asleep. Oh, cold and misery. On four tires of a rubber, a long cord in its teeth, standing alone on the frozen ground. I jammed in the 
key and I opened the door. Oh, cold and misery, not exhausted I see, nor the sound of a roar, standing alone on the frozen ground. I went to my neighbor and to him I spoke. Oh, cold and misery, he soon came a-riding on white clouds of smoke, standing alone on the frozen ground. We went to my beast and pride opened its jaw, oh, cold and misery, but icy black darkness was all that we saw, standing alone on the frozen ground. On its terminals bare, long cables I placed, oh, cold and misery. I gave it a charge with a smile on my face, standing alone on the frozen ground. The smell of the ether did hang in the air, oh, cold and misery. And empty heat bottles about everywhere, standing alone on the frozen ground. And when we were moving, its anger was gone. Oh, cold and misery. From its radio voice came laughter and song, standing alone on the frozen ground. But tonight when the dark comes to its moving parts, oh, cold and misery, it will again be the beast with the ice in its heart, standing alone on the frozen ground, standing alone on the Stockings in her hands and feet all over the floor. And Champagne Charlie's my name. Champagne Charlie's my name. Champagne Charlie is my name by golly. And Rogan stealing is my game. I went to see a lady. I've been there before. She fed me out of an old pig trough and I ain't going back no more. It's Champagne Charlie is my name. Champagne Charlie is my name. Champagne Charlie is my name by golly and Rogan and stealing is my game. Yeah, 
Champagne Charlie is my name. Champagne Charlie is my name. Champagne Charlie is my name. By golly, and Rogan is stealing his game. Rogan is stealing his game. 